I was really interested in history in high school, and um, you know everybody thought, well, you can be a teacher if you if you go into history, and I didn't wasn't really interested in that. And but I went, you know, I went on to college to get my my bachelor's in history, and at Concordia, I learned that that's you know being an archivist and organizing records and taking care of people's collections is you know what I'm good at and what I would really enjoy doing. We're the official Marine Corps archives and so we take in collections of material of any Marine that has served anywhere for any amount of time. The collections that I enjoy the most are letters and diaries. Obviously they are very rare, they're one of a kind. I processed a collection recently of a Medal of Honor recipient from World War II who sent letters home to his mom every day. At the end of every letter it was, don't worry about me, I'll be home soon. And then so you can follow this Marine's progression through the war knowing that he didn't make it home. I've always been interested in military history. My grandfather was in the Navy. I have an uncle who is in the Air Force. My husband was in the Air Force. I've n never been able to serve my country as a service member for, you know, the, for medical reasons. But I sort of viewed this as, you know, a way that I could contribute to to my country and um, preserve preserve the stories of these of these men and women that have served and, you know, um, share what they've really sacrificed for the rest of us.